common thing for a lot of people is struggling to get your protein in, right? I'm always getting asked, how do we eat more protein? Can not meet my protein goal? We all know that getting protein in your diet and getting enough is super important for fat loss, weight loss, et cetera. Let me run through this for you guys. What is protein and why protein, right? Proteins are just amino acids. So when you guys hear the word BCAAs, right? Branch chain amino acids. Amino acids, you think if you could put them together, they'll make one molecule of protein. And these proteins play a critical role in our body. They do most of the work in cells and are required for the structure, function, and regulation of the body's tissues and organs. Without protein, our bodies wouldn't be able to function. They have a lot of different uh, jobs within us and within our cells, more than just building muscle. But we'll keep it simple and keep it at that. Why protein, right? What does it do? It helps build muscle, obviously. It helps with repairing tissue. So when we're exercising, we are essentially ripping and tearing our muscles, very microscopically, obviously. And what protein helps us do is repair those tears. Protein aids with immune function, hormone production, and energy. Without protein, you cannot and will not survive optimally or live optimally. There are nine ways to increase protein intake. You can prep in bulk. Basically what that means is maybe on Sunday, you measure out how much protein you need to hit each day. And by the end of the week, you should be at that goal. Whether it's batch cooking a bunch of chicken breasts or batch cooking ground turkey. I think that's the easiest way to prepare your meals in general, but especially protein. Add extra protein to your plates, right? If something calls for six ounces of chicken and a cup of rice, and you need to increase your protein, play around with the ounces, maybe go to eight, maybe go to 10, add in a little bit extra than what you think you need or are used to eating. And you probably just made the difference of hitting your protein goal or not plan to eat your protein first. So you get this nice big dish ready for you. You're very hungry. What I would do first is eat your protein. The protein is going to be the least appetizing part of the plate. You're right. You want those yummy sweet potatoes or you want those yummy mashed potatoes or, um, you know, those great noodles or whatever the case may be, you're going to have room for that, right? There's always room for dessert. I like to say there's always room for carbs. So eat your protein first. That's the most important. And then your vegetables and then your carb last, because that means you won't overeat on carbs because you just stuffed with all the protein versus if you start with carbs, you start with those noodles. Now you're a little less hungry by the time you get to eating the protein, which is the steak, chicken, et cetera. Have protein with every single meal, snack or regular meal. There should not be one time that you do not have protein. Maybe one snack out of the day, you have a fruit without any protein, something quick. But for 90% of what you eat, there should be protein involved with it. And if you can keep that simple, simple kind of phrase or rule in your head, it's going to be really, really easy hit your protein goal or easier, I should say. You want to eat more than three meals per day. Sometimes I'll get on the call with people. Hey, I want to eat. I don't eat breakfast. I eat one time at lunch. And if I'm hungry, I'll eat dinner. That's just not enough food. There is no way you can pack enough protein in those two meals to meet your protein goal. Nobody can. And so minimum three times a day, but really want you snacking maybe one or two times, obviously healthy snacks. If not, have a fourth meal. So eating more does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Have smaller portions more frequently throughout the day versus just two larger meals when you're starving. Increasing the portion size, right? So we're trying to reverse diet. We're trying to increase protein. Like I said, increasing that six to 10 ounces will be great. Aiming for leaner proteins will also you know, really help you in getting the protein packed, nutrient dense foods um, that you need. Having a leaner steak will be a whole heck of a lot better than having, let's say, some pork, which is made up of a lot of fat as well, where a nice lean steak will just be protein. Or let's say a lean piece of chicken breast, right? Chicken breast is usually lean, 98% turkey breast that's lean. Go for the leaner meats. It's going to be a lot easier to meet your goal because it's more protein packed, right? So you look at ground meat. Some of it says 80% protein or 80% lean, 20% uh, fat. I always say minimum go for 93% lean or 92% lean. That's going to ensure you're getting the best bang for your buck in terms of protein for that ground meat. And it applies to really to any meat or, or protein food. Like I said, 
eat your protein first. Um, you want to add a scoop of protein, right? It's the easiest way if you just cannot fit anything more um, in terms of protein foods in your diet. Easiest way is to grab a shake, put a scoop or two in there. You get 25 to 50 grams of protein right then and there. Just plug your nose if you have to and chug. Um, ideally, you don't want to chug it. You sip on it for a few minutes just so it gets processed and doesn't just come right out. But uh, protein shakes are a great way um, to have a protein dense uh, snack that is strictly protein, no carbs, et cetera, to help if you're struggling, boost your protein overall intake throughout the day and your weekly average. And like I said, focus on snacks high in protein. That's going to be beef jerky. That's going to be low sugar Greek yogurt. That's going to be protein bars. Like we talked about having a scoop of protein in a powder. Hard boiled eggs is super easy. Stuff like that, that are high in protein, lower in carbohydrates. If you're hungry for something, but not a full meal, those protein snacks are going to really come in handy. And how much is enough? General rule of thumb for cutting or toning or trying to get lean is 30% of your total daily calories should be from protein. And that's a minimum, minimum of 30%. Slowly increase that to 35, depending on how lean you want to get. Maximum 40% of total calories should be protein. Take 40% of, let's say, 2,000 calories, whatever that number is, divide by four, because there's four calories and one gram of protein. And that's going to be from a percentage to gram calculation in terms of how much protein you should be eating. Now for bulking, general rule of thumb again, 35% of daily calories should be protein and absolute maximum because with bulking, we want to eat a little bit more carbs to get you stronger, gain a little bit of weight. And 30% would be the minimum unless you're going for a dirty bulk, which means, hey, I just want to gain weight as fast as possible. I don't care how much fat I put on, just get me out of this current weight that I'm in, 25%, I think, is the absolute least, in my opinion. Anything less than that, you're, you're kind of sacrificing weight for muscle now. 25, I probably wouldn't ever put someone there, but that is the bare, bare minimum, in my opinion. You may hear other otherwise from other people. That's just me. I'd stick to 30% minimum to keep you safe. High-end 35 if you're trying to bulk. And looking at the nutrition label, right? Nutrition labels are huge. So we want lean proteins. We don't want protein with also has 10 grams of sugars and 20 other carbs and all these fats. And so these are really, really good ideas for lean protein. Be sure you're looking at the back of the nutrition labels, right? You go in, I forget the name of the brand, but you have those protein cookies that are in a lot of gas stations and you look at it and it says 25 grams of protein and only... I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's like four sugars or four carbs or something. But then you read it and it says that in that package is two serving sizes. Kind of trick you. So really, there is double the amount of carbs and double the amount of sugar. Make sure you're looking at serving size and nutrition label very closely. So high lean protein options, steak, seafood, pork tenderloin, cottage cheese, lean hamburger, jerky, eggs, ground turkey, lentils, chickpeas, protein isolate, venison, edamame, uh, lentils, protein yogurt, chicken, protein bars, turkey bacon, and heck, even air fried chicken nuggets. That's kind of what I would choose as the best sources of protein. You now know best sources, you know why it's important to have protein, and now you now know why of how much protein that you should be having. All right, you guys now have all the information that you need to get your protein in and do it efficiently. If you need more help implementing all this information into a well-balanced meal plan, or you just want to chat with me to pick my brain, schedule a call with me by clicking the button below. We'll take a step-by-step -step strategy for exactly what you need.